Hi there, I'm Alan Hong, a Strategic Marketing Manager at Thoracic Technologies. As ASIC prototyping requirements these days become more and more resource intensive, the need to fulfill user design requirements require innovative solutions in order to keep costs down. That's why at Thoracic, we want to provide engineers with the utmost system flexibility paired with state-of-the-art, high-density FPGAs while maintaining minimal cost, schedule time, and design effort. Well, today I'm very excited to showcase our latest iteration of a high-end Altera Stratix platform, the TR4 FPGA Development Board. Developed specifically to address the rapidly evolving demands in many end markets for greater bandwidth, improved jitter performance, and lower power consumption, the TR4 is powered by the Stratix 4 GX device and supported by industry standard peripherals, connectors, and interfaces that offer a rich set of features that are suitable for a wide range of compute-intensive applications. Let's get to the point and examine the specifications of the TR4 board. First, let's see what kind of memory selection the TR4 offers. Flash is included on board right here, which is 64 megabytes for storing important information such as FPGA configuration. We have a high-speed 2 megabyte SSRAM here, and we have a DDR3 SODIMM slot here, which supports up to a maximum of 4 gigabytes and runs at a clock speed of 533 megahertz. Next, we have two prominent PCIe connectors, which support downstream mode for linking to a host computer. Each PCIe connector supports four lanes operating at PCIe Gen 2 speeds at a maximum of 5 gigabits per second. For the TR4, our engineers have kept flexibility as a primary goal when designing the TR4, which can be seen here with the vast amount of available I.O. pins for your exact design requirements. The I.O.s are presented in the form of six HSMC ports and two GPIO 40 pin connectors which means a total of 492 pins for you to work with. The top HSMC ports also make use of the high-speed transceivers supported by the FPGA, with eight transceiver pairs in each of the ports. The great number of ports means that you can match the TR4 board to your exact specifications by using daughter cards by Thoracic or your own, such as this DVI daughter card, or customer solutions. We feature a great selection of daughter cards that support applications such as networking, multimedia, and industrial communication. For more information, please check out this link. Lastly, and most importantly, the heart of our TR4 board is the Altera Stratix 4GX FPGA. The TR4 supplies two flavors of the FPGA, which includes 230K elements and 530K elements and supports up to a speed of 8.5 gigabits per second, ensuring that you have high speed, high density, and low power, all in one package. Now the HSMC ports serve an additional purpose, which is to let users stack boards together to create a truly unique multi-FPGA system. We can see how this is enabled when we examine the back of the TR4 kit. Over here we can see that we have four male HSMC connectors, which can mount directly onto the female connectors on top of another TR4 kit. By integrating this into the design of the board, engineers are allowed the flexibility of specifying just how many FPGAs are required for their design project. No more and no less. Other ways of linking your FPGA boards together to create a multi-FPGA system include using a high-speed HSMC cable to link one TR4 to another, or using the PCIe sockets with a PCIe adapter cable to connect one to another. So let's introduce the PCIe interconnectivity and communication demonstration for the TR4. Here's our hardware setup, and we'll go through each item in detail. First of all, you can see our host PC with the motherboard exposed. It interfaces with a 5.4 PCIe adapter card plugged into the PCIe slot. 
This is then connected to the TR4 via PCIe adapter cable. The TR4 board is the main system of control, which serves as the bypass or image processing platform. The onboard FPGA acts as a controller for the nearby peripherals including the PCI connector, memory, and daughter card. You can see that we've utilized an SD RAM, which serves as a buffer for our data coming in from the PC. This data is then sent out via DVI cable to our high definition monitor. So now we've gone through the hardware, let's demonstrate the software. We provide a GUI software, which we will open up now called the PCIe Pattern Generator. This demonstration basically shows that we will be sending image data from our PC through the FPGA board, displaying it on high definition screen in full glory. We can send a simple RGB pattern data by pressing play here. We can also send 1920 by 1080 pixel images through at select intervals. All we have to do is go over here, select Pattern Type, select Folder, go to our designated folder with our images, press OK, and we can select the intervals. Over here we're sending it at 5 second intervals, or we can choose 1 second, or Continuous, which you can see that we're transferring full HD images at high speed. So I hope you've seen the extensive capabilities of the TR4 FPGA development kit today. With the combination of a vast number of free I.O., high-speed transceivers, memory, PCIe, and a stackable design, the TR4 is the perfect choice for your high-end prototyping, research, and development needs. For more information, please email us at sales at Thank you for watching.